ओके या आई सेट फॉर महिंद्रा एंड बेसिकली देर वर थ्री राउंड्स द फर्स्ट राउंड वॉज रिटर्न द सेकेंड वॉज दिस टेक्निकल जी डी एंड द थर्ड वॉज पर्सनल इंटरव्यू सो आई समराइज ऑल द थ्री राउंड्स नाउ द फर्स्ट राउंड द रिटर्न वॉज बेसिकली टेक्निकल राउंड एंड द ए लिटल बिट ऑफ क्वान्टिटेटिव एनालिस लाइक योर एप्टी एनालिस एंड एवरी थिंग एंड द रिटर्न द टेक्निकल पार्ट बेसिकली कंसिडर्ड ऑफ मैकेनिक्स मॉस डॉम and little bit of fluid and yes there was summon and in the apt part there were like questions not as grand as you get in cat or your zat exams but yes they were good level i wouldn't rate them low then after we got through the uh, i guess the people the branches it was open for was mechanical production and electrical and automobile and after these like 120 people sat for the written and 48 got got through the whole process then the next round was technical group discussion so the technical group discussion there was the group consisting of eight people one hr person and one technical um, head or whatever you say was supervising the whole procedure so he gave us a topic to speak and discuss on the topic which my group got was uh, what is more Which what is more uh, what is the thing required in the present scenario? Either to make the car less heavy, or to make it heavy, or to give speed, or what? So that was basically the whole topic of discussion. We discussed this. There was cross questioning from the person, the technical supervisor. He was listening to each and every person. Then yes, the thing I think that got me to the next round was like I started the GD. I begin with that group discussion, and in the end, he asked me. He asked all of us to conclude the group discussion. So what I was doing in the whole GT procedure was I was noting what each and every person is saying. So when he asked me to conclude, I knew what conclude means. There is one thing. There is one thing called a summary, and one is conclusion. So when you ask to conclude, you should speak what each and every person has said, and then give your view. When it is about summary, you should only say that what each and every person has said. So in in conclusion, you also have put forth your view also. So I did that, and that took me to the next round. The next round wasn't on the same day; it was on the other day, and uh, my interview was the first one. So I got there, and he they it was a very comfortable environment. There was a panel of four people. Two more people joined. Two were from the previous day only. So I got there. We shook hands, and it was very comfortable. So they asked me from where are you. I said it. The starting was basically a HR round. So they asked everything. I mean, from where are you? What your parents do, and everything. The next thing they asked was like, what's your favorite subject? I said mechanics of solids. I was very strong at that. So they started asking questions. The questions began from basic bending movements, uh, like. <coughs> When the body is, uh, uh, you know, when when a bending movement set on the body, so कहाँ पे bending stress सबसे ज़्यादा होता है, कहाँ पे कम होता है, top fiber, low fiber, neutral axis, then it there was columns, struts, there were bending movement diagrams, there were lengthy questions, subjective questions, they were not like giving up easily, uh, they were putting cases in one question and then like the question never ended, it took me I guess. Seven A4 sheets to answer the questions, and it was like going very grand. Now I think where I lost the round is like I took it very easily. The next day another company Maruti was visiting, and I was very sure that I'll get through with Maruti. So I took Mahindra lightly, and I and I started conversation with them. Like I asked sir, what do you do? What's your position in the company? And how's Chennai? So I took it very lightly, and then I even asked them that can we negotiate the package or something like that. So I lost it there. I know I lost it there. But my interview was very grand. The person was very happy, and the tips I would give you for Mahindra is like prepare well for the return. The tech is not very easy. The tech is not very difficult. It's a mediocre level, so you can easily screw it or easily kill it. Like you can do wonders in it, or you can screw it. so to study for it go for fluid go for thermal go for mechanics go for mos four subjects will take you through 
for the quant you don't need to do anything i guess if you are studying in a very good college you can be able to do it and then the second thing i would say in the group discussion is those person are listening you can't make fool of them you need to show them knowledge and they are actually looking for practical knowledge in my gd the person asked me was how will you find the center of mass of a body without knowing its area and dimension so i told him that sir suppose this is a pen and i put it on my finger and the point from where it does not shakes or topples that's the center of mass and he was really impressed with my answer so they are looking for practical things uh, one of my friend was with me and i was in a car team my college car team so that was a plus point to me another friend of mine he is not very good in speaking abilities and technical things but then what he did is like uh, when he was going for his interview he took the drawings of all the solid models and uh, all the uh, you know designs what he made so that gave him an edge and he got to he is now in mahindra so whatever you have they are ready to listen to it they are ready to take it go show yourself present yourself they are very friendly they are not like very strict and stubborn teachers or professors of your college they won't bite you they listen to you they they look for a conversation and you can easily do it i mean mahindra is a good company now uh, i'll give a reason why i screwed it also I, as in i asked my dad uh, my dad is in automobile sector so i asked him should i go for it or not next time maruti was listening so he told me ki company ko bhi 14 saal set hone mein lagenge to 20 saal mein set hoga kya fayda so basically i'll say i would have done it it was because of my dad i couldn't you can do mahindra if you want study it uh, look in what grade it is coming for your college if they are offering a good package and if it's like an a plus grade or super grade go for it if it's in a a grade and you think you are capable to do more don't go for mahindra and don't spoil anyone's other career because anyone can take the job you should go for the better thing